the biggest issue is your bunion deformity. And then you also have this pretty, very enlarged and inflamed bursa. You know, worst case scenario, you get infected and then you become septic. Mm -hmm. What you have going for yourself right now is that you're young, healthy, you've got good blood flow. So I think you're in a good spot to have this corrected. So that way, none of what I just said will happen. Oh my gosh, yay. <laughs> okay. I know I was so nervous because I didn't know what that flu was. That makes yeah. me so happy. Emily, fortunately, is not infected. She just has a lot of irritation. Young, healthy people generally can heal things pretty quickly. So your deformity is actually in the midfoot, but you see this huge bump and the toes going this way. I do think that you can benefit from a surgical procedure to mm -hmm. correct for your bunion. What I need to do to fix you is to rotate this to make it straight. After I rotate this, you should have this kind of kick out it's straight. Oh, yeah, see that? You see Looks that? Like my normal foot. It's, it's just. You're right. So you'll have a few incisions, making sure that everything is aligned properly. Once the incisions heal, I think you'll be very happy. And also, once the bone heals, you'll be very happy. Are you okay with the plan? <laughs> I am. You I'm are. I'm so ready. Yes, I'm ready. My treatment plan for Emily is to fix her underlying bunion deformity, I have to make sure that she's structurally sound. Then I want to go ahead and remove that cyst and make sure she has an aesthetically pleasing looking foot. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, well, oh, nice to meet you. I'll see you guys nice soon. You. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. For Emily's surgery, if I don't get the entire mass, I could grow back. Today is the day of Emily's surgery, and she has a bunion deformity. She also has this huge gelatinous cyst. We've got to fix the both of them. Good morning. My plan for Emily today is pretty much a standard bunion procedure. I'm going to fix the bunion deformity at its source, which is in the midfoot. So I'm going to fuse a joint in the midfoot after I rotate that bone to be in a straight position. There most likely will be a point uh, on the bone where there's a lot of arthritis on that portion where the bursa is. So once I rotate it, I'll take care of the bursa and the arthritic portion of the bone. I definitely have my work cut out for me. She definitely doesn't have a typical bunion. It's, it's, it's a pretty big bunion, but I think that the bunion can be a little bit misleading in how big it is because she has this enormous bursa on the side of her big toe. But today that changes. I have unicorn socks on today and my unicorn socks say, I will cut you in a nice way, a pretty unicorn way. <laughs> Left, side. Left side is the correct side. Incision. And so I'm making my incision where the first met cuneiform joint is. Essentially, that's where the deformity of the bunion is started from. So it's more back than the bump. So it may seem like, oh, where's she cutting, you know? But it's actually focusing on where the deformity lies, because if you don't fix that, the bunion will likely return. Let's protect that tendon on that side. So this is the joint where the problem is focused. What I'm going to do is separate it and then turn it so it's more straight. The little, the small oh. one. Perfect. Thank you much. So essentially what I have to do, this, this guy right here that's moving, is the metatarsal bone. I have to take this and rotate it. I have to put my positioner on the first bone and across the second bone to rotate that bone in the right position. There we go. When I twist this cone, it's going to rotate this bone in a better position. And you'll see this toe kind of straighten out a little bit. Okay, let's let it go. Let's see where we are. Yeah. Okay, it's looking good. So now that everything's uh, compressed, I hold together my compression with a wire. Going through the first metatarsal cuneiform joint and also a second wire through the first and second metatarsal head. These two kind of crossing wires help the bone stay straight. All right, uh, let's take this top portion off and plate the top portion real quick. So I have everything together. The bone is straight, the bunion is gone. I have everything in stable position, and now I'm putting on the plate. 
The top plate goes on first and then the side plate. Cool. Do it this way. Yeah, this will be better. Well, it looks pretty straight, to be honest with you. So an x-ray, her foot looks great. It looks like she has no bunion on the bones. But you look at her foot in real life, it looks like a huge bunion still. So now we got to deal with that. It does look like it's going to pop. I mean, I hope not. I'm going to be very gentle. <laughs> so the biggest challenge is getting a mass of fluid out in one piece because it's super disappointed if it just like pops and it goes everywhere. I, I need to get it all out and like send it to pathology in a nice little jelly package. The presentation of it does look really weird. Solid would be bad. It would be indicative of like a lipoma or a neurofibroma, perhaps a soft tissue tumor. And it's like game on. I really want to take it out in one fell swoop. Oh, wow. I know, don't pop it. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. This stock is going all the way into the joint here, which I feel is like feeding this cyst. That's, yeah, unique. So I'm trying to remove this mass on Emily's foot in one piece. I don't want to have left a tiny piece behind that could cause this thing to regrow. It's very, well, it's sticky, like cookie dough. That's weird. And so now all I have to do is sew her back up. Wow, that looks way better. It's pretty satisfying, like, to see one foot go from really deformed to really straight, and you're just like, job well done. <laughs> so Emily's instructions are to not bear any weight on this foot at all until I tell her it's okay to do so. And even when I tell her it's okay to bear weight, she's gonna bear weight only in the boot. No high heels, at least not yet. Okay, we're done. So today is the day of Emily's follow-up. She had a huge bunion that was like accentuated by a huge cyst, and so fixed both. My biggest concern for Emily was, how do you tell a busy person to sit down? And if she didn't sit down and really take the time to recover, she could have damaged her foot. Well, hello, Hi. beautiful. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. How'd everything go? Oh my gosh, it was really hard. Harder than I thought to yeah. sit, but I did pretty good. Let's see how you did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks excellent. Look at how straight I this know. foot is. <laughs> how pretty. Okay. Can you go ahead and push on me as hard as you can? How does that feel? Yeah, it feels fine. Feels fine? Yeah. How about any, like... This that is still feels a little, little if it does, stiff. It's not hurting. It's just a little stiff, I think. Yeah, sometimes, you know, the scar tissue can build up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You just have to work it out, you know? Bunion's gone, cyst is gone. You're back into shoes. I'm excited for you. Mm -hmm.